think you're going to see the Bulldogs. Their passing attack. And the Bulldogs will bring out that vaunted defense, and let's give it to you right away after we hear the invocation right now. So what we'll do is they'll play the National Anthem. We'll step out for a commercial break and bring you the game action in just a moment. Atlas Supply, 329 Dusson Avenue in Iota is your authorized Napa dealer with a complete line of Napa auto parts. Todd and Richard are open Monday through Friday from 7 to 5 until noon on Saturdays. They have a full service mechanic shop but also carry a complete line of utility trailers from a 4x8 all the way up to a 40 footer. They are also an authorized Hercules tire dealer for tires from auto to farm equipment. Remember the name Atlas Supply and remember the number 779-2841. Good luck to the IOTA Bulldogs in tonight's big game. We're with you all the way. What a great year we're having, and we wish you the very best in advancing to the state finals of the Dome. Our support goes with you all the way. This message from the city officials of the town of IOTA, Mayor John Zatig, Mayor Pro Tim Troy Lance, Councilman Warren Poussin, Raleigh Miller, Thomas Miller, and, Dick, and Chief of Police Robert Walker. Good luck, dogs. Now that the holiday is over, are you feeling like just laying around the house with nothing to do? Well, why not enjoy a great movie in the comfort of your home? IOTA Video Store on Main Street in IOTA has a great selection of new releases plus the classics. And while you're picking out a movie for yourself, why not get some Nintendo and Sega games to entertain the kids? Kathy even has VCR rentals available. She's open Monday through Friday, 2 to 8, and Saturday, noon to 8. For information on availabilities, call IOTA Video Store. But uh, she was a pretty I hear the cheerleader, not only pretty, but she had a great voice. Sounds a little bit better than I do in the shower anyway, Matt. It looks like we're not just moments away from getting this semi uh, final game going. That's right, you got a good national anthem. That's gotta be a good omen. Let's give you this I owe to defense while they have a chance. We mentioned the pregame, they come out with a lot of youth. JB Harp will be the starting defensive end on one side. Uh, Zon Breaker will be the defensive end on another side. Adam Ledette will be in the middle with DeVille and then and it goes like this. In the middle will be Wade Lacombe and Daniel Muta. These are two freshmen. right cornerback and Ben Lance in the middle roaming the free safety and then the starting lineup on offense for these West St. John Rams. They come out with their line like this. Their center is Tyler Jones, Cody Francis, two all 290 pounds of him, Coy Buda and Carl Gauthier will be their quarterback. Amon Lamar will be the running back. Devin Abair will be the other running back with him. Brian Lumar will be the wide receiver. Jeremy Lumar, also the wide receiver, and what a player Lumar is. The Jeremy, 32, t uh, nearly 30 touchdowns on the season. Yeah, and the big tight end, number number eight, Don, Don Riel Lewis, uh, he signed, he's committed to LSU. And the kickoff is underway. Miller, a high taken uh, about to the 35, back by Jeremy Lumar, and out come West St. John, and this team likes to throw it. Don Breaker makes a stop on special teams right away. And the ball will be spotted on the 36-yard line. It'll be first and 10. West St. John comes out with trips to the right. 
lone setback, and Goodyear under center. He sets back, throws the screen out to the flats, finds his wide receiver, and he gets up to about the 45, finally tackled as he comes to about the 50, a gain of 13, and the Bulldogs bring him down on the play. And we see Gauthier right away coming out, throwing. Oh yeah, Gauthier, just all he did was as soon as he got that ball from Sydney, he threw to his wide out, Brian Lumore, and the play, and the play was well blocked, well designed play, and the Rams get a first down right off the bat. First and ten, Rams. They come out in the I formation, single receivers to the far side, lone receiver to the near side, Gutierrez under center, barking out the signals. Now fakes the handoff, sets back, he's being pressured, throws it, and it's complete as he finds his receiver up to the 30, down at the 28. Marlon Jackson makes the catch. The seniors out of bounds, and Gutierrez just a lot of time, Kenny, to sit back there on the fake and do what he wants. Right, it was a nice pass once again by Gutierrez. It meant uh, Marlon Jackson, the big tight end from his left tight end position, just run a flag route, had three guys on, on the far side. And 10, 11 19 into this ball game. In the first period here, we have twin receivers up top and at the bottom. Lone setback Jackson. In motion goes Lumar. And here's the inside give to the fullback. He gets his way up and gets a couple yards on the carry. And we see right away Lumar, or um, who carried the ball? <laughs> I'm lost on that one. Big guy carrying the ball. Look, Amani yeah. Lumar did carry it. He's so quick, he got by there. Daniel Mutaw in on the tackle for the Bulldogs. Second down. Second down. And short, second and four, 10 minutes, 49 seconds here in the first period. Both the A sets back, fires out in the flats, finds his receiver, and Lumar has it. He breaks on a stutter step. Now he's going towards a three and down at about the three to four yard line. Is finally brought down on the play. That was kind of an interesting call. They could actually maybe call that ball back about the 12 yard line, man, as the ball went on the ground. I'm not sure what, if the rule is still in effect that once the ball hits the ground, it's supposed to be dead. It's like a knee gone now because uh, he used the ball actually to uh, uh, keep his feet. A couple of missed tackles once again by the Bulldogs. That tackling so far tonight hasn't been as sharp as we saw last week against St. Thomas Aquinas. And right away making the tackle was Richie on the play. I formation. Gutier Gutier has twin receivers to the right side. Dressed back in the pocket. Fakes a handoff. Throws. And it's catch the ball. And now Dorio star wide wide open. This guy's on his way to LSU next year and on the way to the big time, but he dropped an easy pass. Yeah, ran a corner out to right to the corner of the end zone. Uh, and I believe that was number 25 of Dustin uh, Abair trying to stay with him. And this guy's big, tall, rangy guy. And he's quite an athlete. And, uh, uh, you know, these cornerbacks are going to have a lot of uh, work with their work cut out for him tonight. And this team is a good passing football team. They've got great timing on their routes. Gauthier already shown he can throw the balls. He breaks his team into second and goal and he'll take a timeout and with that we'll take a timeout as well Everybody likes to hear some good news now and then, so here's some we'd like to share. Eunice Community Medical Center's commitment to our community and to quality health care has never been stronger. New equipment for radiology and mammography can detect serious conditions before they become major medical problems. Recruiting new physicians and adding new services means we can stay close to home and receive the health care we need. Eunice Community Medical Center, we're making good news every day right here. For small engine repairs, may we suggest you visit with Dale or Kathy at IOTA Small Engine, 106 Dusson Avenue, the O Post Office in IOTA. IOTA Small Engine is an authorized dealer for sales and service of Honda, Briggs & Stratton, Tacoma, and Kohler equipment. They also sell and service snapper lawnmower and steel products that can service any make small engine from mowers and tillers to chainsaws and trimmers. IOTA Small Engine also sells kerosene heaters and fuel. Remember this number 779-2863 and remember the name right away Gauthier throws the ball it's intercepted by the Bulldogs the Bulldogs inter
intercept the pass by Gaultier, and they get an INT in a big play made by Dustin Boudreaux as he picks it off at the 10 minute mark of the first quarter. A huge play for the dogs, Kenny. Yeah, once again, it showed Neil AJ showed man to man to uh, trips to the left side. And, uh, and and actually, what he was, Dustin Boudreaux was in a, in a zone defense, and he just threw it right to him. He was just sitting there, a bad pass by Gauthier, especially uh, when you're this deep into the Iota Bulldog uh, uh, red zone, and it's a big break, and uh, hopefully that keeps going on for the Bulldogs tonight. One of the things that they have to do. So the Bulldogs will bring out their offense, led by their quarterback, Richie, and right away we get a flag on the play while we have the opportunity. Let's give you that Bulldog offense. They're an impressive offense coming back with, of course, a triple threat in the backfield. Dylan Navarre, he'll be the wing back. Brett Abair, the fullback. Jason Miller, a rush for over 1,000 yards, will be the tailback. The quarterback will be Kyle Richie, as, as, along with uh, Trent Tryon. He'll be in there also. The receivers, you'll see both Dustin Boudreaux and Derek Fontenot split time. Poussin, Broussard, Abair, Lacombe, Bertrand, and Fontenot also in there, and that's the line. First and 10, ball on the 20, and inside goes inside to, I believe, Miller. Uh, Abair got that handoff. Yeah, once again, and once again, it was hard. Brett Abair with the first lineup, and he gets about uh, a two a quick two yards, which brings up a nice uh, just a second and three on a five-yard penalty against the uh, uh, Rams right off the bat. So uh, it, what what Iota has to do here is just sustain a drive and keep it out of the hands of the Rams. Second and three, nine minutes and 30 seconds. Bulldogs have the ball. And here's the handoff to Miller right side, and he breaks a tackle or so, goes for a first down. Jason Miller, a workhorse in this running game for the Bulldogs, runs his way through and gets a first down. Well, Jason appeared over the right side like he was running uh, right off the ends, uh, right right tight ends, but, and he uh, managed to make the first down. I thought this guy was really going to run from some yards, and uh, one of the Rams appeared. I don't know if it was a linebacker, appeared from his linebacker spot, but it looked like Jason had a lot of room to run, and that's a play you're going to see a lot tonight used by Coach. Ricky Reberg and his staff. And Reberg now shouts out his instructions to his quarterback, Richie, over there. And we'll see the Bulldogs come out. The ball will be first and ten. Nine minutes. And the ball spotted on the 27-yard line. A bear the center now getting ready to snap to Richie. And here's the inside give. And not much doing on the inside as Navarre got the carry and got for about a yard or so. So. Johnson does a tackling for West St. John. And part of me, that was the Abier who carried. Yeah, none right there, right up the middle. Like we said, they're going to be balanced of 280, 290 pounds uh, uh, football players up there in the front defensive line, interior line. And Iota is not a very big uh, double-A football team. They, like we said, they are a bunch of strong kids, but they are not don't have a lot of size. And here's the gift to Miller. He looks for some room on the left side and finds his way through to about the 31-yard line as he gets some room to run on the second and 10. Maybe picked up about three yards on the play. I'm looking at the uh, West St. John Rams, man. I swear, I don't believe I see one guy that's got to be on the 6-2 on, on that front 11 that they have. You know, they, they're just an extremely tall football club. Maybe number uh, uh, 38 for him, uh, Dwayne Johnson. He's a free safety. He may go a, a little bit. No, he's a linebacker, actually. He may go a little bit less than six feet, but everybody else is extremely tall. Third and short, Richie under center now. And he'll be on the keeper. He's running right side and looking for a first down. He may come up short. It was third and and five, and he ran right side off guard, and not sure he got quite there, and the punting unit will come out for the Bulldogs. I was talking to Coach Dan Chris from the Florida game, asking him what he knew about West St. John. He said these guys up in the interior line, they're not just tree trunks. He said they move to the ball well, and their linebackers also very aggressive to the football, and so they may have to make a few adjustments on uh, blocking. You may see some counters uh, uh, later on in the second drive or first half, and uh, that's maybe one of the things to do it. Jason Miller is back to punt for uh, the Bulldogs. And Lumar will stand back there to do the honors to receive. Miller punts and also back there is Lewis and Lewis will let that sucker bounce and it will bounce all the way down into Lumar's hands. He decides to pick it up 
but the ref, I believe, Kenny is going to call that one down. He decided he wouldn't want to get it, and it was blown dead. What happened is Donriel Lewis called for a fair catch and didn't field it, and so as soon as it was picked up, uh, the ball was whistled dead. Uh, at least that's how I interpret they, they read the rule. So far, we have no score right now as we are six minutes, and it's 53 seconds remain in this first quarter here at IOTA. We have zips on the scoreboard, and tonight, of course, a big night for these IOTA Bulldog fans, an opportunity to go to the Superdome. If they can pull off the win, they will go for the District 2A Championship. It's semi-final action. The Rams come out. They'll first and 10 on their 25-yard line. They'll have Lewis out, single receiver to the near side. And the inside gives, goes to the back, and he's just barreling his way through defenders and probably gets way more than a first down. Nice play. That was the quarterback, actually. Gauthier kept it and kept running. Yeah, caught him split, caught the uh, tackles, inside tackles, split wide out, caught a linebacker over. They were, they're playing with a linebacker over to the strong side. And, they, and Gauthier had a perfect opportunity, just called his own number and uh, ran for 10 yards. Just a nice, uh, quick thinking play by the, the senior veteran quarterback back of the Rams. First 10 ball spotted on the evenly on the 40. Single receivers to either side, Lumar and Lewis and Gothio gives the handoff this time to his tailback who gets some room to run on the left side and he gets about 12 yards on the nice run. Devon Abeer, the 5'9", 170 sophomore gets another first down as West St. John's now moving with the pass and the run. All right, Joe Zahnbrecher brings him back down from chases him down from his defensive end position. It was just once again, you get so focused on stopping the pass. They may have a little bit of trouble, but, you know, basically what they're going to do is just try to control the running game for them a little bit, keep them down three, four, five yards, and, and, you know, and you've got to just respect their passing game too much. Lewis up top, the receiver, Lumar, the receiver on the bottom, eye formation, Gauthier gives it to his big fullback, and he just pumps his way through the defense and gets about seven yards on the play, and right away we're seeing them go to option A, option B, option C, and you can go on, they're showing they got weapons. Uh, right, you know, like I said, they're extremely big offensively as well as defensively along the line of scrimmage. And uh, the Bulldogs have to rely on a lot of quickness and their strength and their quickness. But, uh, you know, it's kind of a thing against mass against strength. And a lot of times in these cases, mass is going to win. Lumar, that time, Amani Lumar, the carrier. Now we have split T, single receiver to the side. Gauthier sets back. He throws to the near side, finds his receiver. It's complete. And Brian Lumar, that time, catches it as he gets enough for a first down and making the tackle on the play. A good stop. Just Dustin Boudreaux makes it. Yeah, once again, a well-timed pass. Just not much you can do about it. And, and, and number five, Lumar, he's uh, you know one of two Lumars that are out playing tonight. This guy's got good hands. He reached up and he got it. You know, and it's just hard play to defend when it, it's that well-timed out. And we have zips on the scoreboard. A couple goose eggs. No score. Five minutes remain in quarter number one, Class 2A, semifinal Iota and West St. John. West St. John on the move. Gauthier, the quarterback, drops back. Two-step drop. Goes for the end zone. Firing and picked off by the Bulldogs. Picked off once again by the Bulldogs. Justin Gauthier Doge makes the play. He's to the right side. Has some room to run. Now he crosses midfield to the 40 and finally wrestled down by West St. John offensive players. What a great interception. Justin Doge just ran with the big tall wide receiver for uh, uh, I believe it was Donriel Lewis for the West the West St. John Rams and I mean when this guy caught the football he knew what to do with it he just went back north and uh, uh, made a nice run back avoided a few tackles along the way excellent field position two interceptions already now whenever you have that what happens is Gauthier is kind of going to start doubting himself once again he had man to man on the outside coverage coach Neil Leger and uh, Doge comes up with the big big reception Iota once again they get an opportunity, a golden opportunity, and Richie leads out his team. And he fakes it to the inside, and a good carry by Abear running straight up the middle on that play. That was Navarre, pardon me. He showed his speed. Abear threw a block as well as Miller. Richie did a good job faking it. First down, Bulldogs. Running out of the eye with the power eye once again. Give it to M Navarre on just a quick dive, and this kid's quick, and he got through it. He was there. That's one reason you could see his number. Uh, he wears 14. Uh, Jason wears 44, and he was just a blur going through the line. Excellent play. Their finest offensive play uh, uh, so far in this first quarter of this ball game. 
Triple wing back, backfield, and that's going to be offside. It looked like Harp, the tight end, jumped offside, and this may cost the Bulldogs. Well, as JB said, I wasn't offside. I just started a little bit early. Everybody else was late, you know, one yeah. of these deals. And one of these small mistakes that, that the, that the uh, Bulldogs aren't going to be able to make because, look, uh, the West uh, West St. John Rams have already made two mistakes and may have cost them points at least one time. And now Harp, they were in good field position. Harp costs them five yards, and now it's a first and 15 for them. Be a first and 15 for the dogs as they're looking to strike. They'll be on their 32 of West St. John. No score, four minutes, nine seconds here in quarter number one, bringing you Iota Bulldog Football, KUN, KGGB Super Sports. We have the Power eye in the backfield. In motion goes Navarre. Richie takes the snap on the option. Gives out to Miller. Miller's got some room to run, and he's ankle tackled and brought down on the play on a nice stop by Lewis, who gets to him, and Miller gets a couple of yards. And we see Miller at that time. Richie running the option for the first time tonight. Yeah, like we said before the ball game, is Kyle Richie struck us as being a pretty cute, cool cucumber back there, and he showed it on the option. He says as soon as he was going to get hit, he delivered a perfect pitch to Jason Miller. Got most of the uh, penalty yardage back. Puts it a second and ten. And one good thing, the Iota Bulldog in four down territory, so they basically still have a couple of more downs to make the first down. Power eye, jumbo set with two tight ends. And Miller, the tailback, gets the fake. Richie looks the pass. He'll be pressured and taken down hard and wrapped up on a nice play by Lumar, who made the stop, and the rest of his defensive mates came over to pile on top of him. Coy, Coy Miller also put a lick on him. When you get hit by Coy Miller, you're getting 290 pounds. And West St. John Ram on top of you. Good play by Lumar just to wrap him up and allow Coy to come in and make the stop. Yeah, and Richie didn't make the bad pass. You know, he didn't make the mistake. Didn't try to just get rid of it and unload it. There was a single pattern receiver they had had Boudreau out of the backfield on a, uh, I believe I mean, might have been at the split wide receiver position and on a flag route going to the corner of the end zone. And uh, I guess we're going to have to go to a break because we got a big timeout. Someone's been in a business for over 20 years. It just makes sense that you'll trust the work he does. And that's what you'll get when you call Carol Lejean at Lejean's Heating and Cooling. Carol is an authorized carrier dealer, but will service all makes and models from residential to commercial. So if your furnace or heater is on the blink, call Lejean's Heating and Cooling for a free estimate. Call 779-2845. Lejean's Heating and Cooling on the Eunice Iota Highway just north of Iota. Next time you're in the Iota area and the old hunger pain start to hit, stop in and see Diane and the crew at Sue's Restaurant and Lounge, 126 North 1st Street. Sue's open Monday through Friday with noon plate lunches and they chart on the menu good any time till closing. If you don't want the inconvenience of waiting, call 779-8200 and place your order to go and use the drive through pickup window for quick in and out. The short order menu is also available from 5 to a closing on Saturdays, too. Sue's Restaurant and Lounge in Iota, where Diane and the crew are waiting to serve you right now. Sue's Restaurant in Iota. Good food, good friends. And right away, Iota comes on, and they try to get a play to go, but Richie throws out, and he gets a hard rush there by West St. John defense, and the play is incomplete as it won Richie to Miller. That brings up fourth down and 17, and in a position, what do you do, Kenny? The ball spotted on the 32? Well, you just try to get the first down. You may have to throw short, and hopefully you can run with it. You know, it's probably you're going to see a passing play, or you may even see some type of draw play to uh, Jason Jason Miller or the counter to Dylan Navarre. Uh, anything, you know, you're just going to try to hold your field position at least. And Richie goes out to throw. He goes out to the far side and tried to throw it. It goes incomplete. It was high as Dustin Boudreaux was an intended receiver. So turnover on downs. However, I guess if you don't get it there, it's not, you know, it's like a good punt. Right. You know, I mean, this is about the only thing. You kind of caught out there no man's land on about the 31-yard line. And so you don't really lose anything. Field positions, uh, uh, it's too short to punt. If you punt it into the end zone, you only gain about 10 or 11. Yards. So it's a good play. I think what he was going to try to do is get six or seven back, hoping Boudreau could maybe uh, break a tackle or two and get a first down for him. Didn't quite work out, but not a bad little drive by the Iota Bulldogs. And the setback gets it on the left side. Running is Herbert. He has some room to go, and he's up to midfield down at the 50 as the, finally the Bulldogs wrestle him down. Zombreaker on the stop. 
three or four other Bulldogs it took to get this guy down. Herbert, he's gotten the ball twice tonight, and each time he has, Kenny, he's made big yardage. He makes 18 yards there for the Rams. Ball spotted now right at midfield with 225 in the first quarter. No score yet. Uh, yeah, Daniel Luton along with uh, Lance uh, finally bringing him down. It's, uh, he's, he's a pretty impressive runner, uh, man. He gets the ball and he goes north-south. Seems to be have great speed also. First and ten for the Rams. I formation and the give to the setback. There's a fullback on the play. Not getting much. Lumar. And Ledette comes in on the stop, makes a good tackle on that play. And we'll see a second and eight with a minute and 50 here in quarter number one. The yeah, interior of the line of defen of defensively for the Bulldogs that time did an excellent job. Matt just shut down the uh, fullback dive. It's kind of fake the, fake the counter pitch and, uh, and give it to the fullback on a dive. And the interior line really did an excellent job. Trips to the far side. I formation. Fake give to the fullback and throws it up. And a great grab made by the player for West St. John making a great catch on that play. Lumar, an apparent fumble. And we'll see what the refs whistle. Ball whistle, wrestle dead. We'll go for a gain of about 23 as Lumar reached up to the sky, grabbed down Gauthier's pass, and made a tremendous catch. But the ball's whistled dead, and it will be spotted at the 28. West St. John, once again, they get in striking distance, but can they not give the ball over? That's been the case tonight. Yeah, basically what they're getting by almost is with a pick play in which they give it, they throw a quick hitch pass out to the wide out, and then they, the slot guy comes, he's like he's running a flat, but he picks off the cornerback, and they're going to have to do a few adjustments to keep that play from uh, gaining that type of yardage. A well-designed play, a little bit of a pick play. And an inside give, and that one's taken down right away. Gauthier tried to get the keeper. He had nowhere going. And DeVille comes hard on him. Cody DeVille was very impressed with this big guy last week against St. Thomas Aquinas. This guy's a tree truck also in there. He is hard to move out the way and extremely strong young kid apparently. And uh, he played a whale of a game uh, uh, stopping uh, Coulson from St. Thomas Aquinas last week. We have twins to the either side. Lumar the lone setback. Gauthier barks out the signals. Now fakes the give. He looks back to throw. Being pressured and brought down on the play. Zombrecker brings him right down and gets the sack. One of the keys that we had talked earlier in the week was I thought was J.B. Harpin and Joe Zahnbrecker had to hack a hit, had to hack, have one hell of a ball game tonight. And Joe Zahnbrecker makes his first play of the night as they bring up a third and 12 situation, which against this team doesn't mean a whole lot. But apparently the Rams are going to call a timeout and talk this one over. And what we'll, we'll do is we'll take a timeout as well as both teams decide what they want to do. Le Bonnet Terre Nursery and Landscaping on the Iota Egan Highway, one mile south of Iota, is open weekdays 3.30 to 5.30 and on Saturdays from 9 to 5. Give Bob Mercer a call at 779-3450 and he'll be glad to give you a free estimate on your next landscaping job. And for Bob, there's no job too small. Right now, Bob has fully dressed poinsettias in 6, 8, and 12-inch pots. They'll dress up any room in your home for the holidays. Good luck, Bulldogs, and Bob Mercer at Le Bonnet Terre Nursery and Landscaping on the Iota. Iota Egan Highway, one mile south of Iota. Welcome back to Iota High School. Matt Levine, Kenny Bergeron bringing you Iota Bulldog football as the Bulldogs look for the right to advance to the championship game for District 2A in the Superdome. But they're going to have to stop a good West St. John Rams team. And the Rams are driving. The ball will be third and 12. And it will be spotted at the Bulldogs 29-yard line with 15 seconds here in quarter number one. You impressed so far what you see from West St. John? Kenny? Oh, yes, they're very excellent. Uh, uh, passing football team. It's not a bad running football team either with an excellent defense. I think here they're going to a bull wide set. They'll probably like the flag route to the outside. Though. And he goes over the middle, Gaultier, and that one's incomplete as it was dropped by the tailback, Herbert, and good defense by Boudreaux on the play. So it would be fourth and 12 now with 10 ticks in quarter number one. And just like Iota had the situation, they were in the ball spot in the same, same side as the ball's on about the 30 or so, and I guess, you know, you can't punt. 
it's too far for a field goal, so what do you do? Go for it. Yeah, you might look for him to go to Lewis. He's kind of that bread and butter guy. He's their best athlete. Uh, Coach Neil Leger told us last night he has great jumping ability also, and he's going to be spread out wide to the near side, and I believe he's going to maybe draw double coverage. It's going to show double coverage. Trips to the near side, and out it goes. It's going to be an option fake, and now throwing is the receiver going end zone. Incomplete on a good-looking play by the defense. Lumar got the pitch on that screen and then went to Ryan Lumar in the end zone and Richie and as well as Guidry in on the stop. So a little trickery there. It seemed like Lumar, once he got the screen, Kenny wasn't sure what he wanted to do, kind of hesitated, went for Lumar in the end zone, and Iota had enough time to compensate and get back there and block it down. Actually, hats off to a well-disciplined Iota defense. You know, they didn't go for the fake with it with the hitch pass that had been successful. It's very easy to want to come up and, and, and go against what you looks like a hitch pass defensively and when it actually was a lateral, but the uh, defensive backs of the Bulldogs ran with him. And there goes Miller as he busts loose. He's to the 50, 45, 40, stiff arms and defender at the 30, and finally down at the 25-yard line as Jason Miller saw daylight and got things going for the Bulldogs. Explode through the line of scrimmage, an outside, uh, outstanding job of blocking by the uh, offensive line of the Bulldogs as he wasn't hardly even touched as he went through. And this kid, I believe, just a sophomore, he's a good friend of mine, Reggie Miller's, actually Dan Crispin's uh, uh, brother-in-law. And uh, this kid has a great future with him for the Bulldogs. His, uh, his dad was an outstanding athlete along with his uncle Ronnie. Uh, so this guy, and then he's got the Dolphin side of the family from Iota who had, and they were extremely uh, outstanding athletes. So this guy was bred to be an athlete, could help but be a great one. And with that play, the first quarter ends, and what a great way to end the first quarter as Iota makes a little run as they break deep into Ram territory. We'll have more second quarter action just after this. When it comes to insurance, it's critical that you deal with people you can trust. That's why you call Farm Bureau Insurance, whether it's auto, home, or life. When we provide you with insurance, we're making a promise to be there when you need us most. That's a commitment we take very seriously. We believe our most valuable asset is our word. So when we make a promise, we keep it. It's that simple for life, health, income, homeowners, fire, or auto insurance. Call Glenn Abier at Farm Bureau Insurance in Crawley at 783-6212. First and 10 Bulldogs, they'll be on the Rams. Yard line, about a 45 yard run by Jason Miller. What a way to end quarter number one. The dogs have the ball, and the inside give once again gives to Navar, and he doesn't get too much on that carry. Tried a little halfback dive that was so successful for him earlier, uh, and uh, this time it didn't go as uh, uh, the ball was just bottled up to big, from that big line of uh, defensive line of, of West St. Johnson. These guys are big, you know, they're, they're a bunch uh, bigger than, than the Bulldogs. The ball will be on the 25 yard line. We'll have lone receiver Derek Fontenot. He'll be up at the bottom. Power eye formation. Miller gets the give. Running off guard. He gets some room to go. And he'll be close to a first down. He needed eight yards. And he'll be brought down at about the 17 yard line by West St. Well, West St. John Rams brought him down in quite a haste. And it seemed like Jason Miller's got the engine turning. And that's where Coach Ricky Reberg recognized. And he told me earlier today that that's why they were going to attack the uh, uh, West St. John Rams kind of around the tackle in, in uh, toward the outside. He said their technique there he didn't think was really good, that they weren't well coached on the defensive ends. And uh, he, he's had he's found some success as the Bulldogs have now to moved into the red zone of the of the Rams. Fontenot once again the lone receiver, power eye in the backfield. Miller gets the give left side on the third and about two, and we'll see how he got how many he got. And he may be close enough, Kenny. We'll see where their spot is. I would believe he's got the first down by about a half a yard. They may measure, but it looks like uh, he's got it. They're going to give it to him. Yeah. First and 10 Bulldogs, they're on the ramp. 16 yards. 
Receivers to the near side, the inside give, and Richie will keep it on the fake give. He'll get to the outside, and he's scrambling his way for a first down. And we'll see how close he got. Same play we seen him score last week on where he faked into the line of scrimmage and kept the ball and went around the end, and it was almost an identical play, and he got real close to the pylon, maybe about a yard away from, uh, no, he's actually about four yards away from scoring, four or five yards. That looks to be about on the six-yard line they're marking it. So second and one it will be. Ball on right about where Kenny said on about the six-yard line. Richie will be under his center, Abeer. He'll have Abeer and Miller in the backfield with Navarre right side. Miller gets the give, and he'll barrel his way forward. Ball is loose, but the play will be whistled dead. He'll be close to a first down as this guy just keeps moving. He's relentless. Yeah, Jason Miller's a load. You know, these guys from that attack, them, they're going to be tired. Tired trying to hold on this this uh, young kid all night. Uh, tonight, and they're going to know they've been in the ball game regardless if they go home, home victorious or defeat. They know that this ball game is going to take quite a bit out of both teams. I can tell you that right now, Matt. It will be first and goal. Ball, he gets the first down. and ball will be spotted just inside the five-yard line on about the four-yard line. We have an unbalanced line right, man. You got it. Strong side to the right side. That's where Miller goes. Plunges his way in. Bulldogs, they're on the board first. Jason Miller strikes iron as he hits the right side, gets into pay dirt. Bulldogs up 6 0 at the 9 07 mark of quarter number two. In case where the Vaughn defensive Iota High Bulldogs have come up uh, big time on a couple of uh, uh, interceptions, and now the offense, which has uh, got to be their best defense tonight, they decide to go ahead and, and uh, act like they've been acting all year long and just, just take the ball on the ground and, and take it to them, and that's exactly what they did. A good, great drive to start the second quarter. Snap the kick, and Richie's kick hits the crossbar dead on. Bullseye hits the bottom of the crossbar. That will be ruled no good, but the Bulldogs get six. We'll take a break. Bulldogs six, Rams nothing. 9.07 mark of quarter number two. Miller's Repair Shop has been serving the IOTA area for, let's see here now, well, more years than Mr. Thomas Karras to mentioned. If you need auto repairs, give him a call at 779-3108. He'll be glad to give you a free estimate on that job. Mr. Thomas wants to congratulate the IOTA Bulldogs on their great job, and we'll see you in the Superdome. Okay, guys? And a special thought goes out to Dustin Lacombe. He's our man. We're proud of you, Bulldogs, and wish you the very best in the state playoffs. This message from Miller Repair Shop of IOTA. Doucette Oil Agency is your Exxon distributor for the greater Iota area. For fuel for the farm, call Bobby Doucette at 779-2422 and we'll deliver your diesel, oil, or gas as quick as possible. The Doucette family has been serving this area with Exxon products since 1927. For Exxon Petroleum products for the farm, industry, or personal vehicle, remember the Doucette Oil Agency, your Exxon distributor for the Iota area. Jason Miller gets in from four yards out. Welcome back to IOTA fans. Smile because your team's ahead. 6-0, Matt Levine, Kenny Bergeron. IOTA Bulldog football. They're up 6-0 over the West St. John Rams. And Jason Miller just about did everything. Kenny set up his own touchdown with a big 45-yard run to end the first quarter. Gets in at the 907 mark. The extra point was no good by Richie. That's where we stand. 6-0. Miller puts his foot into it and kicks it up to about the 20. Taken up by the West St. Jam Rams. He's up to the left side, up to midfield. Now room to run. Lumar, right side, breaks a tackle down to the 30. 25, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, Rams. They get on the board. Touche for the Rams. They get right back into the ball game. How do you like that? Yeah, a little bit of a case where wet field heard the Bulldogs as a couple of guys slipped down and gave him a seam to run through and then he, he made a couple of nice cuts back. You got to give it to the kid. He made a nice run uh, going on the way back and uh, trying to get my program. That was number 10. Yep, that was Mr. Lumar running the ball. Yeah, Jeremy, Jeremy Lumar. Wow. And uh, he just made a terrific run back, cut back and, uh, and got by a couple of Bulldogs. Dylan Navarre making a gallant effort to get him at the pylons but couldn't quite get there. And so uh, what it is now, the uh, Bulldogs are going to have to answer the call once again. What a big kickoff return by Lumar to get his team right back into this. They'll go for two. And we have wing backs in the backfield. Gauthier just sneaks his way right through. Walsh is into the end zone for two. So that gives 
The Rams, an 8-6 to six win uh, lead right now. Uh, wow, that was quick. 9-0-8 mark. They scored the Bulldogs, and at the 8.52 mark, what do you know? The Rams are ahead, 8-6. to six. We'll be back in just a second. Jim Perry and supporters of high school athletics. If you're thinking of home improvements, cash for a new boat, or opening a savings or checking account, talk with Tony Dogay or Pam Brown. The Bank of Commerce proudly serves the IOTA, Crowley, Drain, and Mermental areas. The Bank of Commerce, always there for you. The Bank of Commerce and IOTA, the only bank you'll ever need. An equal housing member and member FDIC. Some people save with money market funds, and virtually everyone has a checking account. But at Tri Parish Bank, we've created the perfect account, Treasury Index Checking. This special account rewards your higher balances with tiered interest rates. Pay is an exceptional rate, gives you immediate and unlimited access to your funds, and provides the security of FDIC insurance. Talk with us today at Tri Parish Bank about Treasury Index Checking. It's smart money at work. Remember FDIC. Navar takes the kickoff, takes a hand off to the right side. He has room to run. He's up to the 40, breaks the tackle to the 46-yard line, and finally brought down by the Rams on the play. A nice tackle. Chad Howard makes the play. The sophomore brings him down. And how do you like this kid's speed, Kenny? He's just a demon out there, a speed demon. Yeah, he's not a very big guy. He's really quick-footed. You know, boy, he's, a, you know, like we said, he's, he's like a little water bug out there. Boy, he just uh, faked the handoff. Bulldogs had a nice wall for him. You don't see that much off on kickoff return. It's a wedge type return, and uh, it's a nice uh, kind of nice gimmick uh, uh, kickoff return by the uh, Bulldogs. Uh, Marcus Dijan made that might be one of his gadget plays, and they worked very successful. It's good field position for the Bulldogs on their own 47-yard uh, uh, line. And Trahan will come out on the 47-yard line. I formation. Miller gets the give. Left side, getting his way free. Wig on his way through for about six yards, Jason Miller. Yeah, big five for sure on that. Then that's what you want. But when you can keep him in, uh, get at least four or five yards on your first carry. That's what Iota's looking for. Just, just keep this go back. Basic football, fundamental football. Hey, we're gonna block a little bit better than you can tackle. We're gonna put our big guys and make them run, up, run, run up, and you've got to stop them. And, and it worked uh, very successful last time for the Bulldogs. They broke a couple of big plays. And the Rams will come out in I formation. Fontenot, the receiver, near receiver on the near side. I formation give to the fullback. And not much doing as he gets his way for about two yards on the play. Abair gets the carry. And make it third and about six to go. 7.46 remaining here in the first half. It's eight to six. West St. John over Iota. Fullback dive just to keep him honest in there, seeing if maybe they, they were stunning to the outside, uh, nothing happened as these big, uh, we said these big guys in the interior line for the Rams are just hard to move out. Third and four, 726 remain, ball will be at the 47, inside give and Navarre gets it, Dylan Navarre gets the carry and he needed four yards and he'll probably get about three and he'll come up about fourth and he'll get about two yards, it'll be about fourth and two. First big decision for uh, uh, Coach Ricky Reberg, and he's going to talk it over uh, as uh, he's going to have to decide if he's going to try to keep the ball offensively or, or, or punt it away. Yep, they're going to punt it away indeed, and we'll see if they actually are going to punt it away as they'll take a timeout and wrestle with the decision. Why they do that, we'll take one as well. For a 40 footer, they are also an authorized Hercules tire dealer which hires from auto to farm equipment. Remember the name, Satler Supply, and remember the number, 779-2841. This is Clint Bischoff, and along with Robert K. Gilry, with Robert K. Gilry and Associates, Attorneys at Law, we would like to thank the IOTA High. Five seven three three five two. Congratulations, Bulldogs. 
Vincent. Welcome back to Iota Bulldog Football here on KUN KJJB. Well, you may see the first hard count tonight as they yep. try to draw. No, they're going to go for it right away on a quick count, and they're going to be close. Fourth and two. Miller got the give, and we'll see how close he is, Ken. This is Miller, number 44, up the middle. And we may see the chain gang come out. We'll see what the spot is. And they're going to bring out the chain gang. Well, I tell you, I wouldn't bet money either way on this one because it is going to be extremely close. If he's got it, he's got it just by a couple of inches. Hope that they put a wiggle in the line right up at midfield. And it goes in the Bulldogs' way. It's going to be a big play, a big a big momentum uh, 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 break for the Bulldogs to take and get the first down here. All right. Nope, they didn't get it. West St. John, West St. John gets the ball, and wow, that's just a crushing play there. The Rams will take over there. They'll have first and ten. Ball will be on their own about 44-yard line or so. Well, they'll take over. They have an eight to six lead. The Bulldog defense has been up to the task so far. Uh, they've been, but they haven't broken yet against this powerful uh, offense of the Rams. And once again, they're going to be uh, asked to uh, uh, do the same and uh, try to hold down this uh, uh, Gauthier and company. Gauthier will have two receivers to the right side. Here's the reverse, and it's a flea flick reverse. And Gauthier goes and throws a duck, and it's broken up by Richie. What a great play he makes on defense as it's broken up on the play and intended for that one for Lumar. I tell you what, once again, uh, uh, every guy in this team is well disciplined on this defense. They keep their lanes, you know, they keep, they do their assignments like they are. They don't get carried away. And I believe, uh, you know, these kind of gadget plays, uh, you know, it looks cute and stuff like that, but I just don't believe it's going to work too successful right now against the uh, uh, Bulldog defense. These guys just uh, know what they're doing out there and uh, uh, do an extra job playing disciplined defense. And in motion goes right side goes Lumar. He's brought down hard on a nice play. A little end around give on the play. DeVille brought him down nicely on that one. Cody DeVille brings him down. They had a big tree trunk actually can move this kid. Like I said, he's he, I, personally I think he's their best interior line. Of course, there's only uh, 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 two of them. Uh, him and Lede and uh, Lede does a great job too. But uh, uh, DeVille, see, he stood out last week for us, and we noticed this kid. And he, he's just once he puts his hand on you, he's hard to get rid of. Third down and 14 for the Rams. Ball spotted on the 40. They need to get to the other side to about the 47. That would give them first down. 6-12 remain in quarter number two. 8-6 Rams lead. Got the back to pass. The rush gets to him and he's brought down on the play. A hard sack made. And how do you like that? Lacombe came in with the pressure and getting the reward on the play and getting a sack was Ledette. Well, I tell you what, that way, Lacombe, we were talking to him. I was telling uh, uh, Neil Asia how I was impressed with this kid. Now, he's going to be a great one for simple because this kid is so extremely quick. And they told me that uh, uh, Mouton was also quick, but he suffered a, a pretty bad knee injury. And they got two outstanding linebackers for a while here. Lumar will punt it a high, towering, end-over-end punt that the return men will let go. Navarre was back there as well as Boudreaux. They'll let that sucker go, and it bounces inside the 45 and that's where the Bulldogs will take over. Good field position for the Bulldogs as they take over and going to try to get something going once again. One of the things they had to do is stay close to this West St. John offense and if they can do that, their confidence will grow on defense and they'll start covering guys a little bit tighter and, and on out the difficulties that they had on like the first series which they've already pretty much ironed out the way it looks and their running attack is doing really pretty fair against this big team. I formation, Navarre goes in motion, jumbo set, two tight ends. Miller gets the give, left side, barrels through defenders and puts them on their backside and finally brought down by a nice tackle and stop made by Darnell Landry. Brings him down to 5'11", 215 pound junior, takes on Jason Miller head on and Jason Miller meet Mr. Landry. Yeah, Trahon once again in, in at quarterback and once again they started out the same way they did last time with Jason Miller. I think he even ran the same play getting uh, uh, five, maybe uh, a good five yards on that play. And once again, they're in good position at second and five on about the midfield stripe, actually on their own 49. Trahan will be out there. He splits time with Richie. We'll have an I formation. Hebert will be the fullback. 
Miller the tailback. Navarre gets the carry on the counter play, running right side. Not much doing as he stopped up on a nice tackle made by the Rams player. Jason Dempsey comes up and smacks him. The 6'1", 155-pound senior does the job on D. Yeah, it looks like they almost went out from a broken wing formation, which is wing T, where they, they just actually on, a, on an eye. I back and they put him out more as a wing wing back and on the counter and it just that just really wasn't anything there. Actually lost about a yard or two on the play. Third down and six. Four minutes in the first half. Eight six Rams. Bulldogs looking to strike. They have the ball on their own 47. Richie's now in a quarterback. Doesn't like what he sees. He'll come over to and speak it over with Io, the coaching staff, and we'll take a timeout while we have. A timeout on the field. At 779-2652 or contact us at our units office at 457-3352. Congratulations, Bulldogs. Juicet Oil Agency is your Exxon distributor for the greater Iota area. For fuel for the farm, call Bobby Doucette at 779-2422 and we'll deliver your diesel, oil, or gas as quick as possible. The Doucette family has been serving this area with Exxon products since 1927. For Exxon Petroleum products for the farm, industry, or personal vehicle, remember the Doucette Oil Agency, your Exxon distributor for the Iota area. Good luck to the IOTA Bulldogs in tonight's big game. We're with you all the way. What a great year we're having, and we wish you the very best in advancing to the state finals of the Dome. Our support goes with you all the way. This message from the city officials of the town of IOTA, Mayor John Sutig, Mayor Pro Tim Troy Lance, Councilman Warren Fuson, Raleigh Miller, Thomas Miller and J.D. Leger, and Chief of Police Robert Walker. Good luck, dogs. And we welcome you back to action, and on the first play for Iota, it was a false start, and Richie, you can see the quarterback, Kenny, he was just kind of frustrated at that play, throwing his arms up in the air, didn't know what quite happened with his line. Yeah, a tough uh, break for the Bulldogs. They just, uh, I believe it was the left tackle moved a little bit early uh, for the Bulldogs, and that puts it by a third and 11, a long 11, short 12 situation, which is a lot different from a, a third five, uh, seven. So now Richie's going to have to probably throw something a little bit deeper. You may even see the draw play to uh, Miller. Screen pass might be a pretty good play right now. They got two receivers in there. Navarre as long as, along with Boudreaux. But here's the gift to Miller. Miller with room to run on the third and long. Gets about two yards and finally stopped up by Mayho, who's in on the tackle, as well as a couple other Rams on the play. Yeah, it was a hole that Jason looked like he did have room to run, but like we said, the quickness, they're not only big, they're pretty quick on defense, the Rams, and it, they close it up good with only about a four-yard gain, but once again, a uh, pretty good field position that the Bulldogs are in, and uh, they're going to back uh, with if Jason Miller gets any kind of punt like he did the last time, which is about a 42-yarder. They're going to back up the uh, uh, Rams pretty deep in their own territory. With three, three minutes left to go in this uh, uh, second, first, second quarter. And Miller will get off the punt, and it will be returned by Lewis. And Lewis on the right side, brought down hard by the special teams of Iota. And an outstanding mate play made there by the Bulldogs, bringing them down. Justin Duguay, and it looked like Navarre was down there, too, the speedster. Great play. Navarre. Uh, not intimidated by Lewis, like we said, the LSU signee or LSU committed. He, he has committed to LSU, and then the board just went after him and just uh, put him, put the stops to him. So uh, they've got a good uh, 82 yards to go for a touchdown with three minutes left. But this team, that's what's bad about them. They're capable of scoring quick. They'll come out on offense, right side, getting the give is Herbert with some room to run, gets about six yards on the right side, finally being tackled on a nice play for the Iota Bulldogs by Daniel Muta. I think the Bulldogs are going to give some running plays and give Brown on the running plays. They just want to make sure right now that the big play by the Rams isn't going to hurt them and that they'll have a lot of momentum going into uh, coming out for the second. 
second half, and I think if the Bulldogs just sit there and kind of play it conservatively and stop the long game, keep the big play from happening, they'll be in good shape. High formation in for the Rams, single receiver to either side, and here's the give to the big fullback, Lumar, who bowls his way through. He'll get close to a first down on the second and four. We'll see where the ball spotted. It's going to be about a third and one as he's just about short with two minutes, 52 seconds left to wait West St. John Rams. He got a good spot. He got a first down on that. And uh, the West St. John, they're up by two points, eight to six. Yeah, it's kind of making me wonder if uh, Coach Laura Dupont maybe not lost a little bit of confidence in his passing game deep in his own end zone because normally West St. John Rams would be uh, throwing the football with uh, less than three minutes left to go in his ball uh, first half. And uh, he's put two uh, times he's been on the ground. Gaultier being pressured and sacked once again. DeVille comes in on him like a bolt of lightning and takes him down. And what a huge play made. And that one's going to great play. Cody DeVille comes down, and that's going to sound up the second and a mile. Second and on your way to Eunice on that one. Yes, yeah, a big play, you know, by uh, uh, against Gauthier by the field. This third big play this kid has made this first half. And uh, they had to count on him. And, you know, when you with the guys you count on come up big in these playoff games, you got a real shot at staying in it and getting a shot to win it. Ball in the 18. We have two receivers to the near side. Split receiver to the far side. And I formation. Gobier takes his snap now. Drops back. Wants to throw and does. Quick drop and gets his pass off on the right side to Herbert. And Herbert being wrestled down on the play on a nice tackle. Zombreaker breaks him down. And on the third and 22, a good play. Zeke Guidry also in on the play. <coughs> Makes a nice stop as well. <coughs> Third and 15 to go. Minute and 20 seconds. The clock runs here in half number one. West St. John off to an eight, eight to six lead. They got their score off of a Jeremy Lumar, 85 yard kickoff return. Galtier ran in for a two point conversion. Miller scored the lone score for the Bulldogs, eight to six. Galtier sits back, wants to throw, now scrambles out of the pocket. Cody DeVille tries to tackle. Him, misses it. Muta in on the stop as well as Zombreaker, and they bring him down. And once again, and he, Cody Deville coming in there and putting the initial pressure on. Yeah, that's Lacombe also in there. Uh, they, I mean, there was a bunch of guys coming in uh, doing a fine job of, uh, of just uh, taking Gauthier out of his timing, and he was going deep. And it looked like to uh, uh, Don Riel Lewis, once again, was a guy he looked like he was going to, but he just never had a chance to get it off. And actually, with 30 uh, seconds left, but I believe. Uh, the uh, Bulldogs may have one more timeout left, but I think they may have run out of timeouts. Yep, the clock's just ticking down right now, and West St. John, well, they'll play. Let's see what the refs, we're going to get a timeout on I tell West St. John. I tell you what just happened, Matt, and it was a great job by the Iota Bulldog coaching staff. They had actually just kind of snuck out a guy right up along the... Okay. Uh, 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 far side, right up along the uh, out of bounds mark, and uh, no one from the uh, Bulldog team had picked it up. But uh, Neil AJ and Marcus Lejean and Coach Rick Kareberg were all hollering. They finally picked him up, and that's why they called a timeout. They were actually going to probably fake that punt. Snuffing it out and uh, trying to pull a little trickery, are they here in the ending of? Uh, yeah, Carl Gauthier was the guy that was way wide outside. He had never left the field. He just kind of looked like he was leaving, kind of walked off slowly, and, and he had stayed in the ball game. Probably the coaches up in the pre, uh, on top of the press box are the ones that picked that up, and it was a, just a great coaching job by uh, all these coaches from Iota. 17 seconds remain. 8-6. Rams up, and they'll do the punting out by about the 10, and the punt is lifted up. Up as the rush was on on the punter there on Lumar, it bounces out and it's down by the Rams at well, about the 45. Well, we got eight seconds left, uh, and I believe what I do is I just cock back and I throw a hail mary up there and hope something happens. You know, uh, you know, you, you never know what happens in, in, a, in a game like this. It's both outstanding football teams, and both these guys, uh, they're not in the same.
semifinals for nothing. Yep, both outstanding football teams. Iota, what a great year for them, 12 and one, while West St. John 11 and two. And the Bulldogs will try something. Richie now in a deep shotgun trip, receivers to the far side and back to throw is Richie. He'll take time and he'll throw one up, and that one would be intercepted, but it was caught out of bounds by the defender Cummings and guess what that's the end of the first half Iota is down by two to the Rams eight to six you'll listen to Iota Bulldog football here at KUN KJJB and we'll be having uh, coach Dan Crispin formerly of St. Edmunds uh, as our halftime guest and he'll be on in a minute with you Matt sounds good Kenny we'll be back with our halftime guest and more right after this alright let's go you all the way. What a great year we're having and we wish you the very best in advancing to the state finals of the Dome. Our support goes with you all the way. This message from the city officials of the town of Iota, Mayor John Zatig, Mayor Pro Tim Troy Lance, Councilman Warren Poussan, Raleigh Miller, Thomas Miller and J.D. Leger, and Chief of Police Robert Walker. Good luck, dogs. Next time you're in the Iota area and the old hunger pain start to hit, stop in and see Diane and the crew at Sue's Restaurant and Lounge, 126 North 1st Street. Sue's open Monday through Friday with noon play branches and they shout out the menu good any time till closing. If you don't want the inconvenience of waiting, call 779-8200 and place your order to go and use the drive through pickup window for quick in and out. The shout out the menu is also available from 5 till closing on Saturdays too. Sue's Restaurant and Lounge in Iota where Diane and the crew are waiting to serve you right now. Sue's Restaurant in Iota. Good food, good friends. It's a big holiday sale on right now at 4A Furniture in Iota. A sale that's really a sale. Famous names at deep discounts, names such as Broyhill, Bassett, Sealy, and Lane at huge savings. Bedroom sets, dining room sets, living room sets, and recliners have been reduced for this big event. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to save and buy quality furniture at pennies on the dollar. 4A Furniture in Iota and Lake Charles, where delivery and setup is always free. 4A Furniture that fits. <laughs> For small engine repairs, may we suggest you visit with Dale or Kathy at IOTA Small Engine, 106 Dusson Avenue, the old post office in IOTA. IOTA Small Engine is an authorized dealer for sales and service of Honda, Briggs & Stratton, Tacoma, and Kohler equipment. They also sell and service snapper lawnmower and steel products that can service any make small engine from mowers and tillers to chainsaws and trimmers. IOTA Small Engine also sells kerosene heaters and fuel. Remember this number 779-2863 and remember the name iota small engine good luck bulldogs When someone's been in a business for over 20 years, it just makes sense that you'll trust the work he does. And that's what you'll get when you call Carol Lejean at Lejean's Heating and Cooling. Carol is an authorized carrier dealer that will service all makes and models from residential to commercial. So if your furnace or heater is on the blink, call Lejean's Heating and Cooling for a free estimate. Call 779-2845. Lejean's Heating and Cooling on the Eunice Iota Highway just north of Iota. Le Bonnet Terre Nursery and Landscaping on the Iota Egan Highway, one mile south of Iota, is open weekdays 3.30 to 5.30 and on Saturdays from 9 to 5. Give Bob Mercer a call at 779-3450 and he'll be glad to give you a free estimate on your next landscaping job. And for Bob, there's no job too small. Right now, Bob has fully dressed poinsettias in 6, 8, and 12-inch pots. They'll dress up any room in your home for the holidays. Good luck, little dogs from Bob Mercer at Le Bonnet Terre Nursery and Landscaping on the Iota Iota Egan Highway, one mile south of Iota. At Miller's Pharmacy and Get Boutique in Iota, our customers are treated like family. Maybe that's why we keep old customers and make new ones every day. Greg Miller accepts most insurance plans, workman's comp, Medicaid, and Medicare billings. In fact, to a match beat any local prescription price, bring it in and let us compare. Next time your doctor prescribes for you, bring your prescription into Greg Miller. At Miller's Family Pharmacy and Get Boutique, 114 Final Loop in Iota, call us at 779-2214. Local delivery available. Thank you. 
La Bonnet Hair Nursery and Landscaping on the Iota Egan Highway, one mile south of Iota, is open weekdays 3.30 to 5.30 and on Saturdays from 9 to 5. Give Bob Mercer a call at 779-3450 and he'll be glad to give you a free estimate on your next landscaping job. And for Bob, there's no job too small. Right now, Bob has fully dressed poinsettias in 6, 8, and 12-inch pots. They'll dress up any room in your home for the holidays. Good luck, Bill Dogs and Bob Mercer at La Bonnet Hair Nursery and Landscaping on the Iota Egan Highway, one mile south of Iota. It's a big holiday sale on right now at Foray Furniture in Iota. A sale that's really a sale. Famous names at deep discounts, names such as Broyhill, Bassett, Sealy, and Lane at huge savings. Bedroom sets, dining room sets, living room sets, and recliners have been reduced for this big event. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to save and buy quality furniture at pennies on the dollar. Foray Furniture in Iota and Lake Charles, where delivery and setup is always free. Foray Furniture that fits. 